All right, Sisters fans, before going any further, I want to promote the new YouTube channel, Go Sis, and I'll link it in the top comment below. Remember, Go Sis is actually a YouTube channel. It's almost like, to me personally, it's almost like getting behind the scenes contents of the Sisters cast, you know, doing interviews and pr promotional tours um, for the show. And I think there are one or two videos up on the channel. Obviously, as time goes on, more will be uploaded. So make sure you go support these ladies by just going to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, I will put a link in the top comment. I think I'll even go ahead and put a post in the community tab as well and in my sister's Facebook group. So, you know, aside from uh, subscribing to their channel, make sure you go to the description box below so you can check out all my social media as well. But in this video, I'm talking about whether or not the private investigator who's working for Jasmine Borders is actually going to bust Andy. It looks like at the end of the episode, she opened up a folder. And I like how Tyler Perry, whenever there is a serious character that needs to be introduced, he usually goes for an actor who has like a no-nonsense personality. Like, you can look at this woman and tell that, oh, yeah, she already knows, like, this um, lawyer who she's going to talk to in... Uh, Jasmine's defense she already knows what's up between her and the husband Gary so it looked like that was Andy walking through the park with Gary but you never know I don't know for sure but maybe I mean based off the hair it kind of does look like her but all I'm saying is you never know it could be another woman like Tyler Perry is the king of cliffhangers there is no denying that so for all we know Remember when Danny saw Gary in the airport and then the woman he was with looked like Jasmine from an aesthetic perspective? But when you look a bit closer, the skin tone is all wrong and everything. So it was a similar looking woman to Jasmine, but it wasn't. So the woman in the picture who could be from the back anyway, uh, Andy dead ringer. But if you look at her front, you know, her face and everything, that's not Andy. So maybe that's because Gary has a specific type of woman. You never know. What I think is, you know, uh, what in the episode, she's like, he's been playing me and like she like throws a bunch of pictures around. So it seems like, you know, he would on she would only say Gary was playing her if Gary had a bunch of other women. It's like, you know, oh, I'm only one of many women. So I've been played. Why would Gary play Andy if she was the only one in the sense that. Oh, Gary knew the entire time he was trying to get a divorce, so that's why he messed around with me in order to make his wife want a divorce or something because he didn't sign a prenup or something. I'm more inclined to believe Gary has multiple women, and he finds out due to the private investigator. But the main question is, does the private investigator know that Andy is one of those women? I'm sort of inclined. I'm sort of in inclined to say yes because of the fact that one Andy assumed that the private investigator was a male so this private investigator could have been around at any point without Gary or Andy knowing because I think what was it a couple episodes ago when Andy was going to take Gary's car to go to her girls night but then said no 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 the private investigator I can't use your car but then Gary's like oh well it's at night and it's like it doesn't matter because you know there are nighttime vision cameras and everything. So, I mean, like in the episode where Gary, well, wasn't it the last episode where Gary moves out back to his wife, you know, back to his home with his family? Who knows? I mean, I remember when Gary opened the door and there was a person right across the hall looking like they were going into the apartment. I don't think that was a private investigator because I think it was a guy. But at the same time, you just never know. What about um, uh, when Gary was at, Andy's job a couple episodes ago and he tried to kiss her and she's like no cameras so wouldn't someone look at the cameras and be like yo what is Mrs. Borders husband doing here late at night looking for Andy what's going on here there are so many ways the private investigator could crack this case right now but you never know so I think the private investigator probably knows Andy's involved with Gary probably but like I said before I really think that in that first photo it is a woman that looks like Andy but it's not we'll just have to wait and see but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this uh, also quick segue I'm recording this video at 7 30 p.m. on Saturday the 28th five, all five people that have won gift cards have sent me their address so I will actually be able to 
go to the post office early next week and mail off the gift cards. No, I have not made the DVD post yet. I'm sorry. I slept for most of the day. <laughs> but um, I will actually go ahead and do the DVD post later today. I think it's because I'm going home either tomorrow or Monday. So I'm pre-recording a bunch of audio files. That way I can post videos throughout the week because, you know, I have something to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because next week is the last week of vacation, if you will, because the following week is when all the shows come back. The haves and the have nots, the Oval Sisters. So we'll be back in business. But um, speaking of the haves and the have nots, still no trailer. Facebook keeps trolling me. It's like every time I go on and I see that own or the haves and have nots official Facebook page post something, it's the same trailer diced up. We're never going to get a full trailer, sadly. So uh, with that being said, let me know your thoughts on sisters. Do you think the private investigator exposes Andy? Also, another thing I didn't think about. If the private investigator has information that Andy is one of the women that Gary has been messing around with, will she tell Jasmine or will she let J uh, Andy? It's like, I think you should be the one to tell. So, hmm. Plus the private, I mean, Jasmine kept saying the private investigator hasn't found squat yet for whatever reason, when the private investigator sits down with Andy, she apparently has a file folder full of photos and evidence. So, hmm, interesting. I mean, it could be that the private investigator has had this information, but after learning about Jasmine trying to get a divorce and then the private investigator found out that one of the women Gary's messing with is possibly the same divorce lawyer that Jasmine is going to, the private investigator probably figured it's best to confront the source first before confronting my client. So, dang, this goes deep. Look, Sisters might not be a perfect show, but at the same time, if you really look for story elements, they were actually there. Hidden within comedy, bait pens, and people, you know, being naked in the bathtub, or having sex when they're high, or rolling up a blunt. I don't even know where I'm going with this. My bad. I'm sorry. So, let me know your thoughts on this case. This is getting good. This is getting good. And I'll talk to you all later.